how does chronically taking a drug, okay, eventually lead towards the whole syndrome of, of addiction? My name is Thomas Prusenzano. I'm an associate professor of medicinal chemistry at the School of Pharmacy. This is an elective for the pharmacy students, and it's a class dealing on the neurobiology and pharmacological therapies available for the treatment of addiction. So in essence, a lot of times addiction comes about is because basically the person fears the lack of the drug more than the actual high that they get from actually taking the drug itself. In order to effectively dispense a medication, what one has to do is one has to understand completely the substance itself, how it acts, how it works. Make sure this amount that you took out right here doesn't affect your weight. One of the nice things about being here in the School of Pharmacy is that you have some, some pretty modern equipment as it relates to, to teaching. So a lot of flat panel screens which allow easy visualization of, of lecture materials as well as the ability and the opportunity to look at more innovative techniques. Good morning everybody down in Wichita. Good morning everybody here in Lawrence. The building itself is linked up for distance okay. teaching. It becomes the opportunity to actually be able to communicate with students from a distant location such as Wichita. This first one, this one. Can I ask you a question? Certainly. What can I do for you? I need help figuring out what to take. Can you tell me a little bit about any other conditions that you have? I think the best students are the ones who have a passion for pharmacy. Again, suggest talking with your doctor about that. Did you recently switch? Yeah, I switched. They're looking to help other people, but they're also able to embrace the, the basic knowledge that they can. They can assimilate multiple pieces of information and in essence being able to assemble basic science questions and basic science information and then help formulate you know, an effective patient care. Which what Aleve and ibuprofen are those, so I wouldn't recommend taking these two products. One of the things that separates our school of pharmacy, we have a heavy research focus. So what you working on? And I think that really bears out in teaching because really what we're trying to do is try to prepare students for lifelong learning. ...which act directly upon the nucleus accumbens, which are going to project along into, into the exact okay, sort of reward pathway, or in the case of alcohol... By having a huge research emphasis, it sort of gives the students a perception of where science is moving and where they may expect to see new medications. Not only the ones that are on the market now, but maybe the ones that are going to come on the market in five years or ten years as they're out practicing in, in the community. You're really listening to me, so that made me feel good. And so to be able to, to try to give them a, a view for what's now and what's coming really separates us and, and I think gives our student pharmacists a unique perspective.